For your entire life, you've been told to limit your salt intake, to avoid salt, to try to eat a low salt diet. Turns out a lot of us were listening and now we're suffering from daily symptoms from just not getting enough salt. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and in this short video, I'm gonna tell you quickly seven signs or symptoms that you're just not getting enough salt in your diet. If you know someone who's trying to adhere to a low salt diet and they're having any of these symptoms, please consider sharing this video with them. You might really help them feel better and actually improve their health. Now let's jump straight in to the seven signs that you may not be getting enough salt in your diet. Now, any of these symptoms can be caused by multiple different medical and nutritional problems, but they are also very commonly caused by just not getting enough of the minerals that you will find in a real salt in your diet. Number one is fatigue, very common symptom that many people have, and very often adding more salt to your diet on a daily basis, or just taking a pinch of salt in your hand and licking it off, very often can make this fatigue go completely away. Number two is a headache, just a regular headache, not a migraine. A lot of people find that a pinch of salt or just eating more salt in their diet or drinking some pickle juice, which is another great salt, uh, source of salt, makes a headache go completely away. Number three is muscle twitches, muscle spasms, and muscle cramps. Now we all know, most of us know, that, that low potassium and low magnesium can lead to muscle twitching, spasms, and cramps, but also just not getting enough sodium in your diet can also lead to muscle dysfunction. And a pinch of salt or more salt in the diet on a daily basis can make these muscle symptoms go completely away. Next is irritability. If you're just irritable sometime, you should try a pinch of salt. You may be surprised at how much better your mood is after that, and things that were irritating you before won't bother you. Next is muscle weakness. Indeed, many bodybuilders and weightlifters will pre-treat before they go to the gym with a hefty dose of salt. It actually increases your muscle strength and increases muscle performance. Next is mental fogginess or forgetfulness. The neurons in your brain, just like every cell in your body, have to have enough sodium and the other minerals found in a good real salt in order to function properly and optimally. And many times a pinch of salt or adding more salt to your diet can help with mild mental fogginess or forgetfulness. There are other much more serious signs and symptoms of not getting enough salt in your diet. It can actually lead to low blood pressure. It can, some people almost faint or lose consciousness and it can lead to worsening heart failure. So understand that human beings are by nature a salty mammal. We need lots of real salt in our diet in order to function optimally. Real salt is good for you, not bad for you. Now you wanna make sure you eat a real salt that doesn't have the microplastics or the nanoplastics that are found in our modern oceans. So try to stay away from evaporated sea salt. Eat a real salt that comes mined from deep underground that's protected from the pollution, the radiation, and the plastics of modern society. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to get a notification every time I post a new video, then click that subscribe button right down underneath this video and the little bell button right beside it. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.